Hello guys. Uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, Windows 7 tricks. So let's start right now. And first trick for today is Window button and plus. So if I hold Window button on my keyboard and if I press plus, I will get a magnifier. So with this tool you can zoom much better okay and we have more option we have full screen we have lens and docket so that was the first trick uh, the second trick is window button and tab so I'm holding my window button and I'm pressing the tab and like see I am get a uh, 3d windows and now I can choose one of these windows okay uh, we have windows shake and if I open uh, more windows and I just want to use this one and if I shake it all other windows will be closed so if I do it again the windows will be restored okay uh, the next trick is Alt and Tab. So if if I hold Alt on keyboard and press Tab, uh, you will get this uh, Windows. So this option uh, is good uh, when you're playing the games, so you can choose what you want. Okay. The next trick is window button plus right arrow or left arrow so the windows to the left and right side of the screen so I'm holding oops uh, I'm holding my window button and I'm clicking the uh, left arrow I see the windows will be on left side and now it's on right side uh, let's go on next trick window button and plus up or down arrow so let's do it like see it will be minimize or restore the window Uh, window button plus M will be minimize everything so I will open uh, and if I press Windows and M it will be minimize everything okay the next trick is um, if I hold alt on keyboard plus windows button window window button and if I uh, press number one two or three you can see the jump list so this is number one two and three and we have we have four five okay um, the next trick is display all icons in notification so right here we have notifications and if I go to customize and if I show this option always show all icons and notification on the taskbar so all my icons and not notification are on taskbar okay uh, the next trick is see all jump files by clicking left click so if I click uh, left click on one of these icons Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox you can see that I have jump list or files okay just uh, click uh, right click and that's it oops it's not a left 
it's a right right click okay next one is add your favorites folder or location so go to the go to the uh, windows explorer and like see we have favorites uh, location like desktop downloads recent place videos so if I go to local disk C and go to windows or program files and I want to set this location to the favorites okay favorites uh, to do that uh, go to favorites oops uh, click on this and go to and go to right click and go to add add a current location to favorites okay you will see that I'm get a windows folder or location to the favorites and that's it if you want to remove just right click on that and click remove okay uh, the next trick is uh, pin something to the taskbar okay if you want to pin something to the taskbar just drag it to the taskbar taskbar and that's it and if you want to remove right click and unpin uh, the next trick is pin control panel to the taskbar so let's see I can to pin uh, the control panel to the taskbar but if I open a uh, control panel uh, you can see right here that the control panel is already open and if I click right click you can see that I have option pin this uh, program to taskbar okay and if I close this you can see that this is pinned to taskbar okay so the next trick is extend uh, send to menu okay you know what is the send to uh, go to some folder and you will see a send to menu so I have just few option and I want to extend this uh, how to extend that okay just a uh, hold shift and right click on this and you can see that I'm get a uh, lot of options right here and if I go to send to and you can see that I have much more options than before okay uh, we have power button actions so if I go to start menu and click prop right click on this and go to properties you can see that power button action we can uh, change this to restart lock sleep or something else okay like see it's now restart and we have shutdown right here uh, okay next one uh, I want to copy this uh, this is in description below so we can copy from that and go to start menu and paste it and go to this now we can set the text on your screen easier to read so turn on clear type check this and go next next uh, choose this one then this next 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 and finish and that's it uh, the next one is customizing a uh, start menu so if I go to start menu and click somewhere and go to properties and then if I go to customize you can see that I can set a uh, start menu size number of recent programs to display so I can set to 15 15 not matter uh, number of recent items to display in jump list so this is the jump list I will set to 15 
click OK, OK. Now, like you see, my start menu is much bigger than before, and the jump list. OK, jump list is not bigger because there are no files to show to you. So that's the reason. OK, I want to back this to 10 because it's default is is better and the last one add video link to the start menu so like you see right here I have documents pictures music games computer control panel but I don't have the videos so how to do that go to properties go to start menu and then go to customize and on the button you can see videos and just go to display as link click OK and I can see I have videos to the start menu but we have more option like display as a menu so if I click OK you can see menu my videos games for Windows public videos and that's it you can do it for music pictures and others and Guys, that's it for this video, Windows and Tricks. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.